Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been meaning to film today's video for quite some time now, but I just haven't had the time. So I'm really, really excited. We're gonna go out and explore for the first time since moving here in January. I'm gonna go out and um, explore some of the charity stores near us and we'll do a little bit of thrift shopping. So I'm really excited to see if we can find some cute little budget finds. I'm gonna be looking at fashion and or homeware as well, so a bit of a mixed batch. Um, and you guys know that I am a bargain hunter and I love finding kind of unique, sustainable finds as well. So really excited. Okay, so my outfit for today, I've just got on some, hello, some black ripped up jeans, a really, really simple white tee with a little bit of black detailing on it. I've got my practical cross the body bag. I am just waiting for Steve to get ready. Um, I am dropping him off at the station because he's heading to Swansea today to meet some friends. And then we could, oh my God, she scared me. <laughs> she just creeped in the room. Um, are your ears burning? Yeah. Uh, so he is now ready. So we're gonna head out right now. Um, once I've dropped him off, we'll be hitting up some thrift stores. Right, Steve has been dropped off at the station. Don't know if you can see the blue sign. That is literally the big cancer research. I'm at the one on Newport Road in Cardiff in case anyone's interested. It's quite, it's one of those like big new ones. And I normally find that I find better stuff in more like little kind of local high street type stores. So this should be interesting. We'll see, there's also a TK Maxx next door. So I might pop in and see if there's any cute bits in there as well. Um, but yeah, let's go in and see what they've got. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago Every day, late at night, not okay, all I want 
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah All I need, are some better days Cause all I want Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need, are some better days, yeah, all I need, are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe, in the better days. Living life, every day, late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need, are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here. I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard, or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay <sighs> Gosh, it's quite hot today. It's like 24 degrees. Did not expect this. Probably wouldn't have worn jeans if I'd have realized. Um, that escalated quickly. I literally went in for nothing and I spent a hundred quid, but I've got some really, really good bits. I'm gonna have to go back now because I've been gone for quite a while and I've left the dogs at home alone. So I don't have any time to go to any more thrift shops. This video's turned into a little bit of like a bargain shopping video i guess um but yeah let me go home sort myself out and i'll show you the bits i got <sighs> right guys we are back home now so i'm gonna run you through my thrifty finds i know this video has turned into a bit of just like a shopping spree but i got some really cute bits and i'm gonna show you so let me start with the bits i got from the charity store first like I said, I went to the Cancer Research on Newport Road in Cardiff. Um, it's not my favourite in there. Um, like I said, I prefer to go to more kind of like smaller local ones. But I still don't 100% know where all of them are. Like, I don't know. When you meet someone new, it's a bit like overwhelming until you know where to go. But yeah, the, the big Cancer Research ones honestly aren't my favourite. I think the pricing's a little bit whack in there. Like literally all of the tops are just three pounds regardless kind of thing some of them are like primark and some of them are really faded so it's just like overpriced in some respects but you could potentially find something amazing but i don't tend to find any like it was a lot of primark and stuff in there but i did get a couple of bits um first up i saw this little it's a jumper it's from marks and spencers 
but I don't have I don't have any like really good betweeny bits so I have sweatshirts and jumpers and obviously t-shirts and tops but I didn't feel like I had any lighter long sleeve tops to wear in like autumn so I saw this one it's just very very simplistic it's kind of like a creamy off-white I thought this would look great layered with some like gold jewelry to size 20 um it doesn't look huge though so I thought that'd be a really good fit um just a nice little staple so that was only four pounds and it's in like perfect condition I also like the home section there really drives me mad because some of the stuff is so ridiculously expensive I saw some side tables that I was tempted by that were 10 pounds each but I didn't want to commit to side tables until we get our new sofa and I can kind of see stuff in situ um but I did spot this so it's just a very simple vase i've been on the lookout for stuff to go on our coffee table and i loved the shape of this i love that it's not too tall because obviously this is going to be on the coffee table in our lounge so i wanted something shorter in height um it was only one pound um and i don't like the color <laughs> red's not my color but i'm gonna actually do something to it change the color whether i get some stone spray or something like that maybe i go like a terracotta -y vibe or like a natural kind of creamy tone something like that we're going to change it up but i just really really liked that shape and the size of it and it's only a pound so i don't mind spending a little bit of money and time fixing it up but anyway those are the only two finds i found in there there are a couple of bits that i did pick up but i just end up putting them back because i felt like i was just picking up stuff for the sake of it but yeah those were all the bits i got spent like a hundred pounds in tk maxx but i think i actually got loads of stuff for the amount of money that i spent i my experience with tk maxx is so so hit and miss sometimes i literally find absolutely everything sometimes i don't um i know that sometimes they get stock so like um so not all tk maxx's obviously will have the same stuff but they tend to get things in in batches there was loads of um ralph lauren the polo whatever it's called um loads of that in there was loads of steve madden michael kors coats loads of those as well a lot of top shop jeans which i'd never ever seen before in there i did pick up a pair and i was so tempted and i put them back because they didn't feel stretchy enough enough as i would want them um what else do they have like literally so many branded items and stuff um obviously loads of levi's i saw a really nice levi's denim jacket that i was tempted by but it was like a darker tone and i didn't think i'd wear that as much as like a black wash or a light wash so anyway i'm gonna stop blabbing on and show you the bits that i got first thing i picked up i got this little backpack so this is the us polo assassin like ralph lauren it's like the kind of cheaper brand of ralph lauren i think um but i just thought it was really really cute i actually facetimed steve and like put it on my back i was like does it look too small um but it's really really cute it's got that kind of slightly sheen i think it's called like a neo neoprene um material but i have a little backpack like this already it's like a leathery one um and i just thought I use that one a lot it's like a beigey color i just thought a little black one would be cute and this would look nice with more dressed up outfits as well as like casual leggings sweatshirt kind of vibe so you've got like little pockets inside it's got really cute like monogram on the inside as well you also have like a little front pocket if you want to put your phone or whatever in there um and adjustable straps as well so this was 32 pounds it says recommended retail price is £99. Um, so £32.99, I think that's an absolute bargain. It's really, really cute. And it's something that like, I don't think it will like, go out of fashion really. Um, I also grabbed, do you know what the one thing I was on the lookout for? Was something similar to that, but like a little cross the body bag. Um, because I want like a dog walking kind of bag. They didn't have anything like that, which I was so surprised by. But I did find... A nice belt so i don't actually have a lot of belts um and i wanted some nice belts to be able to wear with high-waisted jeans and even um belt in like dresses and stuff as well the ones i have at the moment um mainly have silver buckles and i've been wearing a lot of gold jewelry so i wanted a gold buckle one i saw this one it's valentino 
Um, so let me see if it will focus on the clasp. So it's a very simplistic buckle, just says Valentino on it, um, but it feels really good quality. It's got like a nice kind of grain to it as well. Um, so this was $14.99, only reduced down from 30. So 30 new is not like a lot of money, but I just liked the real like simplicity of it. Like the buckle's got a little something something about it, but it's not too over the top and in your face. It also has Valentino like embossed, embossed like engraving on there as well. So nice little staple there, pretty happy with that. Um, next up, I'm so unsure about this purchase and I'm scared to ask. I don't even know if this fits because, right, basically it's a hat. <laughs> it had a massive security tag in it. I tried to try it on in store and I couldn't put it on my head because the security tag was in the way, which is really annoying. Um, well, I'm scared to put this on. I don't think this is gonna suit me whatsoever. Oh, it actually fits though. So I don't know if you're really silly in this. I don't think I've got the confidence to pull this off. So basically it's just, I always see in winter, like people team up these like really nice hats with like scarves and I don't know, I thought it was cute. It's got like a black kind of chain detail on it. I don't know if it's my vibe. Um, it was $14.99. It's from a brand called Vince Camuto. Um, I don't think it actually says, uh oh. So original retail price, $58. Um, I really, really like it. I just don't know if I like it on me. Um, but 15 quid for a hat like this, I thought it was pretty good as well. Another thing I always recommend is obviously checking out the guys section as well. So for stuff like sweatshirts, t-shirts, um, all sorts really, even bags. I saw some really, really nice um, guests like weekend travel bags in there. I was very tempted, but I was like, I don't think I really need one. Um, but yeah, always check out the guys section. There's so much good stuff in there. I ended up getting some boxes, obviously for Steve, not me. Um, just got him a three pack of French Connection black boxes. They were 15 pounds. Steve's like the typical guy where he'll literally have holes in his boxes and continue to wear them. So I thought, saw these, I thought I'd grab them while I'm there. Um, I also grabbed this from the guys section as well. It's just a t-shirt um, by Blank Essentials. I got it in an extra large. They had a few different color variations of this. So on the front, it just says Blank Essentials. Um, and along the back, it has essentials in bigger letters. But what I like is that I'm always very wary about buying t-shirts that have a print on them, especially for a brand that I'm not familiar with, because I feel like sometimes it can crack. If it's like printed on top, when you wash it, sometimes it can look really rubbish. But this one's like printed on, but it's kind of like not on top of the fabric, if you know what I mean. So it feels really good quality. I really like the kind of gray on dark gray. Thought it'd be really versatile. Um, yeah, men's extra large, so I thought I'd probably wear that as like a rocky. You sniffing the thing I'm gonna show next, aren't you? So I thought I would just wear this with leggings and stuff like pretty casual. It was $14.99. Doesn't say the original retail price on it, actually. Um, it's really weird how sometimes they put it on and sometimes they don't, I don't really get that. But anyway, feels really good quality. I'm always on the lookout for a really nice kind of oversized t-shirt because I live in them. Um, I work from home, so I'm always in an oversized t-shirt. This is what Rocky was um, sniffing, which I've already eaten loads of them. It was lunchtime and I was really hungry. So this was like a till pickup, um, but plantain chips, I always have them in there and they're so good. Um, and I got the garlic flavor. So 0% cholesterol, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. £2.79 for a bag. They're not cheap, but they're really, really good. And then last but not least, I picked up one of these from HomeSense a few months ago and I finished it. I am obsessed with this. It's a sugar-free, like calorie-free um, chai, what's it called? Like a sweetener you put in your drink, like a flavor syrup. 
Um, so it's £4.49 for 750 millilitres. I actually think this might be a slightly different brand to the one that I got last time. But um, it says that you can literally put it in like cappuccino latte, tea. You can even put it in like porridge, things like that as well. It's just like a chai flavouring. But it's so good. And I think that's everything. So there were so many things I picked up today that I put down. I tried to be really good and not like just buy stuff for the sake of it. But at the same time, it's been a while since I've been like actually shopping for myself in person. So I treated myself a little bit today, but I don't regret it. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed my kind of like bargain shopping video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. I'm now gonna get changed so I can film for my home channel because I've got quite a few projects that I'm gonna be filming this weekend, which will be up on my channel soon. So I'll leave the details for my home channel in the description box as well, because I think I forgot to link it last time. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>